All right. It happens every time. Go follow your favorite only pros out there and you will see every single time they drop a patch. <laughs> I thought it was your job to overcome adversity, to tackle the challenge of the new. We're going to talk about nerfs in a minute, right? It was actually something I heard the other day. Uh, I was watching an Asmon Gold video, right? And I actually agree with this 100% because it's actually true, right? But uh, let's see if we can get a... Let's see if we can lose in a casual match, right? Let's see how we go. Um, I'll put the sound on if I can find one. So, when they nerf something... So you create something, right? You think that it's fine. You put it out into the public and people buy it. And then the public responds and goes, well, well, hang on, this isn't good because this is what happens when you put something out in the wild, right? People get their hands on it and then there's suddenly a whole variety of opinions and uh, feedback coming from that. So then they enact nerves. They realize that this isn't actually fun or it's going to break the game or cause major issues or whatever. Ah, uh, that pings, uh, oh, he's declined anyway. All right, that's what fear looks like. Um, so that's what happens with nerfing something. And this is what Asmon Gold said, right? He said it is a response to putting out something that is broken, right? You put out something and you go, okay, that was our fault. That was our fault. And this is the reason why more combat one is failing when it comes to like the whole combat systems or all nrs games for a while anyway is because they just they don't know how to balance they don't know how to do anything decently right everyone goes oh well everyone should just get buffs but again the reality is though is that this is their product if they put out a broken product or a product that is not gelling with a whole bunch of people then or they see that the metrics of people only using certain cameos with certain characters, then they will nerf stuff. Because they realize that, okay, this is not good. And the only time that people complain about this stuff, the only time that people complain about this stuff, that's fear again, is people that take this shit way too serious. They do. They take it way too seriously. So you get to my age and you realize that, well, video games is just video games, right? It's just fun, okay? But also the other thing that you realize is that this is something that you paid for. This is a transaction. And if I'm not having fun with this product that I've paid for with this transaction, then A, you can talk about it however and how often you like. B, you can also give feedback on it regardless of whether or not you're professional or not. Now, considering that the only pros are a flea's dick hair in relation to the amount of people that actually bring in the money when it comes to the games, then they can shut up, right? Because their only goal, and it has always been that way, and you have seen it for yourselves, is to make a career out of a video game. Now listen, I laugh. But I'm not laughing at every community out there that actually has done this. It is against very specific people with a very specific mindset who don't actually care about whether or not the whole product of what is out there is actually any good. Despite what might be said, I have shown you guys that to be true. So therefore, I don't care about their opinion. And Netherrealm certainly doesn't care about their opinion. Even though they try and make these games to appease to an esports thing, like other games have done that, like I've mentioned before with examples, like uh, Rainbow Six Siege, there was a period of time where, uh, and I don't know if they're trying to do it again, where World of Warcraft was trying to do that. Is this going to be an omni -turd player? This is going to be an omni -turd player, isn't it? Right? Where they'll try and go after the esports scene. When you go after the esports scene, you are trying to to make like you're you're trying to water everything down, right? 
in order to appease that. I don't think that's what Netherrealm are doing in this instance. I think what Netherrealm are doing in this instance is realizing that they have fundamentally put out an extremely broken product on across every single metric available. And they are seeing over time that if you take one thing out, oh, here we go, it's going to be another another bloody idiot, right? That when you, oh, of course it's strike, of course it's strike, it's, it's always, see what I mean? It's either striker or it's Lau, right? It's always the same shit. It's always the same shit every single time, right? Every single time. And I've already covered this in previous videos, that there's very stale gameplay when people share stuff, because the game itself is stale, right? And so a nerf is fundamentally created because there is something broken in the game that the developers have broken or have made not in the way that they intended and they have decided to nerf it because the feedback in the real world is actually giving them the proper metrics of what's actually going on. Never listen to an only pro when it comes to their advice on whether this thing should stay there or not. Their goal is to make money out of it. Their goal is self-centered. Anyway, let's have a go. What do we lose? I've barely played this game lately. Apart from covering uh, a couple of videos, so let's see how we go. Right. You know why he's using Striker with uh, Peacemaker? I literally just saw a video, an updated video on Twitter. Right. With this. Oh, this game feels so. Uh, my previous video was Tekken 8. This feels so bad. Right. Oh, this guy likes the grab too. I guess it's alright when everyone else does it. There we go. <laughs> Punk. Down you go. Can I do yours now? No. Oh, okay. Grab it. <laughs> Oh, do your thing, do your thing. Oh, okay, alright, fine. He's not gonna do his thing. Round two. Fight. This is the most ridiculous game, I'll tell you what, man. I can't get over this animation, dude. Look at <laughs> Come here, bitch. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. There's that, there's that, there's that great gameplay. I'm always on target. Final round. Fight. Imagine being a great man using this character. Right. Imagine, imagine, imagine that, right? Oh, that didn't work so well, did it? Okay. Come here. <laughs> uh. There you go. Okay. <clears throat> Mash your buttons, boys. Don't forget that trick. This is the amount of damage they do. Booyah! Oh, what a what an absolute dick smoke. Oh. There you go. game this game i'll tell you what anyway guys i'll leave it there let me know what you think catch you next time <laughs>